Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have seen no SQL introduction and we also have seen the CAP theorem. Now it's time to look into the different types of no SQL databases. That is nothing but no SQL data architecture patterns. So total there are four no SQL data architecture patterns. First is the key value store database. Next we have the column store database. Next document database and lastly we have graph database. All these databases are very much important when it comes to NoSQL. Let's start looking into detail in all of them one by one starting with key value store database. So this is the most basic data model of NoSQL. As the name suggests, it stores the data in the form of key value pairs. Now what is this key? Key is nothing but a representative of a particular data value. Now this key can be any integer, string or it can be of any other data type but it must always be unique because this key is going to be uniquely identify the data that is stored inside it. Hence key has to be unique. Now value is nothing but a data which is correlated to the key. It can be of the form JSON which is JavaScript object notation or it can be blob which is binary large object. It can also be in the form of any other data structure. Now let's see an example. Here you can see the key is a web URL. Here the URL is acting as a representative to the entire web page which is present before it. Hence URL is the key and the value is the web page which is present in that URL. So this is an example of the key value pair data. Next example is the name of the file. For example we have at a glance logo.jpg this name is representative of the file present inside it and note that name of the file will always be unique in a particular directory hence the name is the key and the file which is present inside it is the value similarly we can have the key as the md5 hash which is nothing but a hash value that is generated for this particular value statement that is subscribed to my channel so this hash value acts as a key and the original statement acts as a value. So I hope this is clear. Let's see one more example. Here we have directory path to a particular file which is patterns.pdf. So the key is the particular path and the value is the entire file which is present in that particular path which is nothing but patterns.pdf. So I hope this entire key value pair concept is clear to you all. Now that we have seen the entire overview and example of the key value store database, now let's see the advantages and disadvantages of it. The major advantage of this key value store database is that it can result in the easy retrieval of data because this is the most basic data model, hence complexities are less, hence it can handle large amount of data. But the disadvantage is that it has low performance. And when complex relationships arise between some key value pair then it can slow the response time. Now this key value pair store concept is used widely in databases like Redis and React. So I hope this entire concept of key value store database is clear to you all. If you get any doubt post it in the comment section. Now let's move on to another type of data architecture pattern of NoSQL which is the column store database. So let's have an overview of it. So in column store database the data storage is done in individual cells. You can relate this with your RDBMS. Here every column will be handled differently because all the columns coming under a particular column is functioning separately. You can note one thing that individual column will contain several columns inside it. Let's have a look at a simple example to understand this concept. So here you can see there are certain columns name, age, expertise, salary and on top of this there is a single column which is employee. So we can clearly come to know that all these columns name, age, expertise and salaries are the data of all the employees inside that company. Hence. Employees is the super column and name, age, expertise, salary are all the columns. Similarly, we can have some other columns. For example, 
at the right of employees we can have column 2 and column 2 may have several columns inside it so let's represent this with the help of data so now you can see that these employees and some other columns can combine together and a single column company can come above it hence the column company column is the super column for all these columns employees is the super column for the columns name age expertise and salary I hope by this example the concept of columns to database is clear now let's have a look at the advantages so the first advantage is that the data is readily available this is the most important advantage of this columns to database you can see that like in RDBMS we have all the data in structured format now because of this we can perform all the aggregate operations for example sum average count etc because the data is readily available and all these operations can be easily performed over it now disadvantage is that it's not efficient with online transactional processing because it is highly made and used for the online analytical processing hence it does not have a strong side for the OLTP operations now this is highly used in the database like HBase which is an Apache product and it can also be used in Cassandra which is yet another popular database so I hope the concept of columns to database is very much clear to you all so let's move on to the another data architecture pattern of NoSQL which is the document database so let's first have an overview of the document database so basically it stores the data in the form of key value pairs but this time the value is termed as documents which is more or less similar to semi-structured data now as we have already seen that key must be unique now these documents can be any complex data structure for example arrays strings xml which is extensible markup language or it can be json which is javascript object notation also you can note one thing that documents can have nest inside it which means multiple documents can be inside a single document which can increase the complexity of storage of data now to understand this clearly let's see an example so here the data is stored in two parts first is a unique key let's say it is one in this case and second is the document now I already said that document can be of any complex data structure here we have, have used JSON so you can see that the data is stored in the form of key value pairs inside curly parenthesis you can see here we have stored the information of an employee the first is the employee ID the second is the age and third is the project domain you can see that the project domains value is in the form of an array the array contains two elements as said value can be of any form of complex data structure I hope the example is clear to you all now let's see advantages of it so first advantage is that it is useful for semi structured data and also using this document database the retrieval and management becomes so easy now let's have a look at the disadvantage now you can see that the data is stored in the form of semi-structured data so the aggregate operations may not work fine or it may take a lot of time to accurately perform the aggregate operations now the concept of document database is widely used in so many databases for example CoachDB and MongoDB you might have heard of the term MongoDB it is so popular so that's it about document database now let's move on to the last NoSQL data architecture pattern which is graph database so let's have an overview of the graph database graph database stores the data in the form of graphs you might have heard this term graphs in data structures and algorithms yes the same graph is used here graphs are nothing but basic data structures that states the relationship between objects now in this case objects are called as nodes and these nodes are connected to every other node and the connection that is used to define the relationships between these objects or nodes are termed as edges so I hope this concept is clear graph consists of two things nodes and edges nodes are nothing but objects and they are connected to each other and the edges are nothing but 
the connections that is used to define the relationships be between these nodes. Now this graph database is widely used in social network domain. So let's have a look at this graph database example. So let's say we have our first node which is termed as person. Similarly let's include one more node of person. So in all we have two nodes of person. Now let's say the relationship between these two nodes is defined by this edge which states the first person is the friend of the second person. So here relationship has been defined. Now let's include one more node which is bicycle which is connected to first person and the relationship is that the person one owns this bicycle. Now let's connect the person two with the node bicycle with the relationship that the person two is driving this bicycle. So you can see how we have established the relationship between these three nodes person one and person two are friends and person one owns this bicycle and person two is driving this bicycle. Similarly in graph database millions of nodes connects to each other and establish relationships and it stores information in this particular way. So let's have a look at the advantages of using this particular database. So first advantage is that it results in the fastest traversal and retrieval of data. Because nodes are connected to each other, we can easily traverse through the entire graph, which increases the traversal rate. Now the disadvantage of this particular database is that if in case wrong relationships establish between any two nodes, then the problem of infinite loop may occur. Graph databases are popular and are widely used nowadays. Examples of the databases that use this particular concept are Neo4j and FlockDB. So I hope this concept is clear to you all. So to summarize, we have seen all the four types of data architecture patterns of NoSQL starting from key values to database. Then we jumped to columns to database. Next, we have gone through document database and lastly, we have gone through the graph databases. We also have seen different examples of it. I hope all these data architecture patterns of NoSQL are clear to you all. If you have any doubt, then put it in the comment section. For more such videos, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching.